So lately I've been having a lot of ideas on my mind. One of those ideas is an illustration with a piano in it. And I've always wanted to draw a piano with one of my characters playing it and having a graffiti piece right below it. So we're gonna plan this out and we're gonna see what we brainstorm. So this is a Rayman illustration from the game Rayman. This game was revolutionary and iconic for its time. And while playing this game, I came across this illustration that always appealed to me. And now that I have the skills of illustration, I would love to create something similar to this. So we're gonna go ahead and use this as a reference. Okay, so we're gonna have Rainy and Furballs. We're gonna have them here, like somewhere on top of the piano, either dancing, singing, or whatever the case is. Then we're gonna have the Math Magician sitting behind the piano playing it. And then right below it, there's gonna be a graffiti piece. First, we're gonna start off with a sketch. Look at that beauty, man. I'm almost mad that I created something that looks better than me. So nonetheless, I'm really content with the way the illustration is coming out so far. It's parallel to the reference sheet, which is what I wanted. And now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna dive into the color color. So let's go do that. We're done with the whole cartoon aspect and we're gonna go ahead and just jump into the graffiti aspect which is my favorite part i love this part let's go ahead and just jump into it so you're probably scratching your head thinking that these look like letters from expired alphabet soup but worry not we're gonna go ahead and use black and white to fill these letters in because it's reminiscent of piano keys. And we're gonna finish this up and hopefully the result looks good. Finally, we're done with the illustration. I'm not even kidding when I tell you that this took three weeks to complete. There was a point in time where it took three days for me to even think about an idea because I had plateaued where the character and the graffiti piece were just like there. And I didn't know what to add because I, I was thinking whether I should put speakers or if I should put some lights, uh, but I really couldn't decide. So instead what I ended up doing was just adding bubbles, pink bubbles, to the background which really never failed in graffiti when you add like that kind of like substance that that background it gives it more of a rich visual aesthetic and so i added those bubbles at the back to provide that feeling and finally the piece behind the character in the graffiti is actually chopin's nocturne op 9 number two and the reason why i put it behind was because this was the first piece i ever listened to when i first started playing piano this is what it sounds like So I'm happy that we're done with this project. We can finally move on to the next one. And yeah, guys, I can't wait for the next one. I'll see you guys then.